so I don't, I don't want to point any fingers, but but occasionally when you're when you're building websites for other people, they they leave your control, and the other people take them on. The customer takes them on, and occasionally um, things go a bit not as you might like them to go. And there's a couple of reasons for that. And obviously, you know, I'm, I'm doing this for a living. So when I finish with it, I finish with my job. And, you know, and, and when I dip back into it, I'm, I'm doing that for a living. So I, so I live and breathe that. And, I, and if you're doing something else, if your job isn't this, you're doing something else, then why, why should you be, you know, on, the, on top of it as much as I have to be? Um, but what I'll do is I, I'm going to do a, a quick kind of explanation, a kind of mindset you need to be in when you're talking about this stuff, and then I'll I'll show you an example of what I mean and how we can kind of, you know, sort it out or or, or try and do something. Um, I wouldn't say differently, but just try and try and do it a bit better, or, or even just, you know, probably one of the most important parts about any of the stuff you do when you're kind of set free on your own, or when you or when you do this for yourself, is is look at the thing you've done, is look at the work you've done. If if you're say running an e-commerce site and part of your job is to is to send the products out to people so generally those those things get grouped together so you'll be doing the website updates and stuff and you'll also be the person who gets the orders and sends the orders out now sometimes you're very used to working in the admin side of it you'll put the post up you'll do the other bits and you might go off and i don't know a couple of orders have come in so you go and process those and you won't necessarily check the work you've just done and, and that can cause a few issues. Um, what, so, so you need to do that. Secondly, you need to work out um, where the image you're uploading is going, where it's going to be used, and what what it's connected to. So, so for example, the on WordPress, when you're putting a post up or when you're putting a um, a product up, the featured image or the product image, which one you're doing. Is the, is the image that follows that item around the site. So wherever that item goes, that's where it'll show. So if, you, if you've if you got four or five items that are very similar to each other, that might be on the same page at the same time, then it's very important those images are the same size, the same dimensions. Otherwise, it's going to look a bit off. Um, the other thing to decide is when you're, when you're putting these images out, and, and you have to kind of choose the best images to, to sh maybe go on your front page and stuff, is the the aspect ratio of those, you know, or, or, or to put it simply, whether whether it's um, whether it's portrait or whether it's landscape. Um, and I would say that for the majority of sites that certainly I produce, l landscape rather than portrait is the way you add pictures. That's that's the kind of um, that's the setting I would go for. But probably more important than choosing landscape and portrait is choosing one and not mixing the two up. Because you might you might add a an image um, that is a is in portrait, but actually the template you're using only shows the landscape version. So it'll crop your portrait image at the top and the bottom. And if you're I don't know if it's a wedding photograph, it'll be probably no heads or no feet or both um, so you've got to kind of work out where it's going and what, what, what to what to what to put it on so so those are the kind of the, the 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 two real key points I suppose is is check what you've just done check the work you've just done check the thing you've uploaded and secondly make sure you have an idea of of how you're going to what well of of what the the, the size the shape the form of the um, picture is going to be and stick to it so maybe create yourself a little set of guidelines that say when you upload an image it has to be this size or this wide or this aspect ratio or this you know it's got to be portrait or it's got to be landscape um, and and try as best you can to stick to that and then once you've you know got this site that you really like you, in a couple of months it won't look like you've just chucked some images at it without without a care in the world okay so that so those are the kind of the two critical things I'll, I'll show you now some examples of what I'm talking about on a on a live site to tell you you know sort of how we could 
you'll see where potentially the person who's take, taken the site on has, has added their own pictures and you'll see you know the issues and, and we can very simply solve those change those over and stuff um, yeah but it's I'll, I'll show you now so what what I'm not gonna do is I'm not going to suggest that you create a site and you have um, specific dimensions so this this image has to be 600 by 400 I, I'm not suggesting that at all and I don't think that's the right right approach what I'm suggesting is you you check your work and then you have um you know you you set a standard for the portrait or landscape you're going to do and you just just are aware of where the images are reused around the site so <clears throat> you're you're going to see the images here and you'll you'll see that in the majority of cases these images on this site are supposed to be landscape um, you'll see an instance where somebody's posted a, a portrait image into a landscape hole basically so and you know that it's not going to fit so we've, we've lost the bride's head um, so that's a case of knowing that it should be landscape mainly and also checking checking the work afterwards um, so those are quite important the, the kind of key key to it is is first of all you make you say, well, I'm, I'm going to upload landscape, and if I have to upload portrait, I'm going to make sure that the subject is in the middle of the portrait image so it's not cropped. Um, and, and I'd also, at the same time, have some kind of um, image optimization stuff on your site. A lot of them you can get for free that do a, a 100 optimizations a month for free, or others are, are, are quite low. You don't have to worry about optimizing yourself. You can get you can get a third party to do that. Um and you've just got to worry, then worry about making sure that they're um, that they fit. So landscape and portrait, and more importantly, you you look at them after you've uploaded them. That's that's probably the, the most important bit, and then, you know, and then change it, and you know, change it if they're if it's wrong or it doesn't fit. And it's you know, it's as, it's kind of as simple as that. 